short video, we will discuss the relevance of the Sharpe Ratio and why it was created, how it is defined, and some of the advantages and disadvantages of using this metric. The Sharpe Ratio measures the efficiency of a portfolio. The formula quantifies the return an investor receives in exchange for the risk assumed on a trade. For evaluation purposes, a higher ratio equates into a more efficient portfolio performance. For the discussing the definition of a Sharpe ratio, I will move over to the whiteboard to give a few examples that will make the discussion of the formula more effective. Sharpe ratio equals the return of the portfolio minus the risk-free rate of return, which in many cases is a treasury bill, divided by the standard deviation of the returns. As an example, let's look at the returns of two funds to get a better understanding of how the Sharpe ratio allows an investor to evaluate performance. We'll calculate a Sharpe ratio of 1 with fund 1 having a 16% return minus the risk-free rate of return divided by the standard deviation of the return. In fund 2, we'll create a Sharpe ratio that has a 2, which will equal an 11% return minus the risk free rate of return divided by the standard deviation of the return of 5%. Although the return of the first fund is higher, the volatility of the returns is also higher, making it a less efficient and potentially attractive value than the second fund, which has a sharp ratio that is double of the first. The volatility of the returns is one of the most important factors for investors, as most investors are interested in smooth monthly returns as opposed to a volatile ride. In each of these funds, if the denominator increases relative to the numerator, meaning the standard deviation of the returns increases relative to the returns overall, the value of the Sharpe ratio will decline. For example, if the denominator in the second fund, 5, rose to 6, the numerator would need to be increased by 2% to offset the rise, otherwise the Sharpe ratio would decline. In looking at some of the best hedge funds in North America, specifically arbitrage funds, Sharpe ratios generally average around 2. By contrast, many of the emerging market funds, which have very strong returns, have Sharpe ratios of less than 1. A Sharpe ratio of 1 indicates a return on investment that is proportional to the risk taken in achieving the return, and a Sharpe ratio lower than 1 indicates a return on investment that is less than the risk taken to achieve that return. Additionally, a number above 1 indicates a return that is greater than the risk taken to achieve that return. In 1966, William Sharp developed the Sharp Ratio. In 1966, William Sharp developed the Sharp Ratio. Sharp originally called it reward to variability ratio before it began being called the Sharp Ratio later by academics. Sharpe's 1994 revision acknowledged that the risk-free rate of return changes over time. Sharpe improved upon A.D. Roy's maximizing ratio, which was used as a minimum accepted return as the denominator instead of Sharpe's standard deviation of returns. Sharpe's ratio has an advantage in that it direct is 
The Sharpe ratio has an advantage in that it is directly calculated from any observed series of returns without the need for additional information surrounding the source of the profitability, meaning all you need is the data of the returns. The Sharpe ratio observes both systematic and unsystematic risk. Systematic risk is inherent to the entire market as a whole, while unsystematic risk is company or industry specific and is inherent to each individual investment. The returns measured can be of any frequency when using the Sharpe ratio, daily, weekly, monthly, annually, as long as they are normally distributed, as the returns can always be annualized. The big disadvantage is that not all asset returns are normally distributed. Anomalies like kurtosis, fatter tails, higher peaks, skewness on the distribution can be problematic for the ratio as standard deviation doesn't have the same effectiveness when these problems exist. Overall, the ratio does a robust job at creating a metrics that can be used to standardize returns on a portfolio relative to the risk that is taken to achieve those returns.